Welcome back. Made up of some amazing women, this organization is deeply rich in history while actually also being truly relevant in today's world. Sandy Lawford and Maureen St. Pierre are here to tell us about the Daughters of the American Revolution. Ladies, thank you so much for coming thank in today. Thank you for having us, thank you. Uh, can we kind of start out with just the organization as a whole and kind of uh, understand what you're all about? Well, the um, Daughters of the American Re Revolution began in 1890 and by four women. And th they were very, um, they were very in, wanted to make sure that we started doing patriotism, um, education, and um, historic preservation. Well, those principles are the same ones we have today. So all of the things that we do are in support of those principles. We have a headquarters in Washington, D.C., and it's a, it's a beautiful uh, facility. It seats 3,700 people. It's one of the largest um, auditoriums in Washington, D.C. Wow. It's a beautiful place, and, and um, it's the only real estate that's owned and run by women. Oh, well, I love to hear that. Yes. Uh, and I know you said this started with four women, but obviously this has grown so much and you guys are a part of, of the chapter here. Correct. Um, we have actually seven chapters in southeastern Arizona or Tucson, mm -hmm. and we are one of those chapters. We are the El Presidio chapter. We have uh, over 3,000 chapters across the United States and in Europe um, and other, other locations as well. We originally had um, the four women, but through the years, we've had 980,000 women wow. who have joined the organization. Of course, many of them passed by now, but we still have a very large organization. Well, I love that you said um, kind of what I said at the beginning. It is very rich in history, but uh, the education and everything that you guys still hold true is very timeless. Yes. Uh, and one of those education, you guys do something very specific here with this chapter. Yes, we do. We do part of the box tops for education. And they're on many, many grocery items, so we collect those. And nationally, the DAR supports schools all across the country. We happen to support six schools, so we collect them throughout the year, and then we send them. And they're a great supplement to the school's budgets because they don't always have the money for arts and, and uh, sciences and uh, computers that they need for the kids. So. It's a great supplement for the budgets for the schools. Well, it's wonderful how you guys are giving back to the community. And you guys have other activities that you do throughout the year. Yes, we, we support uh, the veterans in, in uh, Arizona, in Tucson. Mm -hmm. We have um, many women who go and volunteer. We give them uh, toiletries. Um, we try to give them Christmas cards and, and uh, Valentines, just so that they know that they're not forgotten. Mm -hmm. We make lap robes for them. Um, we donate them, the, we've had, I think about Mm, maybe 400 a year of wow. these lap robes. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful, uh, the, the ladies work very hard. So. Yes, and I know we're looking at some of the pictures that you guys uh, throughout the year, uh, which you guys do and, and all of the women. So I know you say that the, the number has grown and, and we of course uh, want people to know about this. So if someone is interested, can people still join? Uh, yes, uh, we are um, non-political uh -huh. and non, we, uh, we any woman who is 18 years of age can join uh, the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution. However, there is a lineage that is right. required. So if they, um, if they want to get more information, we can try and get some background for them. Oh, okay. And we can try and see if they have the appropriate um, lineage to join. They have to have had someone who supported the re revolution. They didn't have to be fighting in it, right. but they had to do something to support it. Well, that's very interesting that you'll help them see if their family line, uh, where sure. it goes, and, and you'll kind of help them in that portion of it right. if they're very interested. I'm going to remind them how uh, they can get a hold of you if they are interested or if they just want to help in supporting uh, your efforts and your activities. So, ladies, thank you so much for coming today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. This was wonderful. For more information on the Daughters of the American Revolution, their history, and the activities, please visit elpresidio.arizonadar.org or give them a call at 520-909-9372.